Welcome back to Give Me Five with Jones and Eli. Eli, do icebreakers really help people get to know one another? I don't think so. I kind of dread icebreakers most of the time, especially when it's in the format of like you're in a class or you're in a meeting or something and it's go around the room and everybody say your favorite ice cream flavor. Super pointless. I like sometimes when it's like tell us an interesting fact about yourself, but even then it's kind of stressful because what do you say? Well, my go-to fact for a long time is that I've won a rodeo or medaled in a rodeo rather. Oh, I was what? I was like 13 in Denver visiting my family or maybe I was in Aspen and we were we went to a rodeo and they like started volunteering kids, brought us on to the track and then we were chasing after these bison with with flags on their tails and i pulled one off and won a medal so that's wow. if they say i mean you wouldn't expect it from the jersey <laughs> kid i'm going up against texans and oklahomans so that's my kind of thing that tells you something about your character not just like oh i like rocky road ice cream you know if you throw me in a rodeo i might just surprise you speaking of uh something that surprises people or something that's you might not expect what do you think about two truths and a lie i feel like that's one of my favorite ones is because it's, it's kind of interactive you know what i mean like if someone's just saying a fact about themselves or an interesting tidbit about their life you kind of zone out you're not really right. paying attention but if you force them to pay attention and guess and judge their character it's interesting well, yeah, so the key to that game, Eli, is having some kind of outrageous ways of phrasing or just outrageous things that have happened to you. Do you have, like, a go-to lie? A lie? I don't have a go-to lie. I always put in there, I was caught in a riptide one time, almost died. It was pretty traumatic, scary. Um, and that's and that, always, and that's I put that real. in there as a truth. Yeah, that's real. That's real. Uh, and I put that in there always as, like, a truth. Like, oh, it was caught in a riptide. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe I just want to tell people that um, for whatever reason. But but for me, honestly, I, I, I do a little game theory approach. I think about what order do you put the lie in? Because you put the lie mm. first. You know, you know what I mean? You got to really think about the lie before. And sometimes when I'm thinking about the truth, I will deliberately uh, stutter a little bit, uh, 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 pretend I don't know what I'm saying, <laughs> delay a little bit, you know, a little reverse psychology, Jedi mind trick there, getting the people to think that I'm lying, but I'm actually not. You you do always want to hit them with the decoy. I usually go with I, – I throw in the rodeo. And then I throw in that I was in a car crash. Like, again. A car crash? Well, not a, yeah, a car crash. I was in a car crash. And I've also been what? in a car. I've also crashed my car. I, I don't consider that a car crash. But somebody actually hit us once when we were driving. So that like was, How serious of a car crash was this? I mean, it moved the car. Like, it was, yeah, it wasn't cheap. It was bad. It was bad. Yeah, that's, wow. Um, no, I know before the show we were talking about the difference between an accident and a crash. I, I think this definitely fell into crash. Now, also a couple of years ago, unrelated, I was driving and I, I ran over a car, like a parked car. I, my, <laughs> like my, a military my, tank, like fully my, over it? Yeah, dude, my wheel ran up on that shit <laughs> o over the windshield, over the hood and back down. Completely, <laughs> completely totaled my car and the other car was fine. Uh, so that, oh that, is, that would be called the car accident. I there. wouldn't trust you behind the wheel. Well, I, I wouldn't want to get in the car. Let me tell you the worst icebreaker. If we're talking about just in general icebreaker games. Sure. And I've done this like way too many times. It's when you go around in a circle, right? And everybody's saying something about themselves. Mm. But twist is you have to say your thing and you have to repeat the thing of every single person before <laughs> you. And so you're like, oh, I'm Jones and I like apples. And then I'm like, well, that's Jones. He likes apples. And I'm Eli and I like bananas. And then the next person's like, that's Jones. He likes apples. That's Eli. Especially if you're at the end of that game, that's a nightmare. A nightmare. Yeah. And that's even more of a name game in my mind than like who cares about what. Sometimes you have to say something that you like with your name. It's like I'm Jonah and I like jelly or whatever. Um, Is that your go-to? Jelly? <laughs> jelly beans maybe i don't know what, what other j terms are there I'd, I'd have to sit down and think about it um but the weirdest thing okay and this is the way to be, immediately become socially ostracized in my mind is when you arrange the icebreakers yourself you know you're in a group of somebody and it's like guys guys let's go around hit us with your name a fun fact about you like if this is not sanctioned by school or perhaps the work that you're at do not whip out the icebreakers. Do you know people like that in real life? Yes, yes. I've you're just in a social gathering, you're at a bar, you're hanging out with people, and they say, let's go around in a circle and say a fun fact about ourselves? Yeah. Call them out right now. Drop their names well, right now on the pod. 
Well, no, you know what I will say that you're bringing up bars. You know what's like a kind of an icebreaker game, but you play it with your friends too. That's a fun bar game. Cheers to the governor. You play that? No. It's like where you go around and then every time you get to 21, it's cheers to the governor. And then you pick a new number where there's a new rule. Oh, so, no, okay, but we don't, we don't call so it So instead of saying five, you, you could say, welcome back to give me five with Jones and Eli. Yeah, that yeah, could yeah. be the rule. I, we don't um, call it that, but I know, I know what you're saying. I know there's a lot of fun drinking games. That's a totally different thing. And well, there's a lot but, of fun drinking games that involve like, you know, telling something about your life or telling stories or telling a fact or truth, truth and a lie, but it would not be called an icebreaker. I think icebreaker by definition has a negative, weird ugh, connotation. It does. But if you think about, you know, the construction of things, icebreakers definitely have their fingerprints all over drinking games. This has been Give Me Five with Jones and Eli. A reminder to follow us on Instagram and TikTok for a chance to suggest our next pod topic. Eli, thanks for talking. Oh, it's a pleasure, Jones. Talk to you soon.